Hi, this is Christine from Gecko Gully Websites. I want to show you how you can um, have wholesale sales or sales to special groups of customers using WordPress and WooCommerce. First of all, obviously, you need to log into your admin. There's two steps to this. The first step is to set up the groups of customers and the second step is to set up the pricing for those customers. So to set up the groups, we go to Users and then User Role Editor. Um, as always, if I'm talking about something here that um, you don't have access to, if you're one of my clients, then please get in touch and I'll make sure that you can get access to it. So the first thing we need to do is we go here to select role and you can see here that we've got several kinds of uh, people who can be users on our site and customers are users. Um, so and, and as you can see none of them say wholesale or anything like that. So what we need to do first is we need to go down to the bottom you know we need to go to here and we need to say add role and the role name we'll call it wholesale you can call it whatever you like and you can have as many roles as you want to and we'll call it wholesale that's just the name that gets displayed if it's ever going to be displayed and it's going to be a copy of customer so we'll add role okay I wait for this to load you won't need to change any of the um, the capabilities, the things that this person can do, because it's the same as a customer. Okay, it's just another kind of customer. So that's all there is to creating the wholesale role. You can, of course, have multiple roles if you want to. You might have two different kinds of wholesale customers. Um, so you might have wholesale one and wholesale two, for example. One person can't be in more than one group. Okay, so if, for example, you were doing something like you were running a club and uh, you, like you had a club for people who had bought a particular product from you um, and then you had another club for people who bought another product from you. Um, you can't have somebody being a member of both clubs uh, because you can't have the different roles. That w You'd be better to do that in a different way with discount coupons and things like that. Um, but basically you need to think of a role as being a group of customers and somebody can only ever be in one group. Okay. So now we have two kinds of customers. We have normal customers and we have wholesale customers. So what we do when we want to move somebody, you know, if somebody registers as a customer and we want to make them into a wholesale customer is we go here to the users. Now at the moment this is a brand new site so we haven't got very many people in it. Um, we go to tick their name and then we can say change role to and we can select wholesale whichever one it is we want to select and we can click on change and that will um, change their role to wholesale okay don't ever change anybody to administrator by mistake or any, any one of these other um, administrative type of roles because um, you're just going to get in a whole lot of trouble <laughs> so, okay so now you next thing you need to do is you need to change some prices for things so let's look at a few different ways we can do that first we'll go to WooCommerce and we'll go to dynamic pricing and again this is not a standard part of WooCommerce so if you don't have access to this then you know let me know and I'll add that in for you so there's quite a few well, there's three tabs here so there's a few different ways that we can actually um, put in a discount so one of the first ways is by order total. So what this means is that we are going to allow people to have a discount based on the total amount of stuff that they have put into the um, into your cart. So first of all, we click on that. We say, who does it apply to? Well, it might only apply to specific roles. Let's say it's only going to apply to wholesale people. And we're going to say, well, what's our minimum order total? We might say they need to order over $100. Um, we might not want to put in a maximum. We can say percentage discount. So we can we might want to say 10% discount or we can say, oh, there isn't a, a dollar discount. There you go, just a percentage discount. And there's the phone, one second. And I'm back. It was my mother-in-law. <laughs> okay, so um, what are, where are we up to? Oh, yes, yeah, so we're doing a um, order total pricing for wholesale people for who order over $100. You can put an upper limit on there if you want to. Um, the reason why you might want an upper limit is because you can actually do another one. So you could say, well, between $100 and $200, you're going to get a 10% discount and 
from $200.01 onwards, you're going to get a 15% discount. Okay, so that's that's an example of what you can do for um, you know for order total pricing, and then you can go you know save changes on that. Another way you can do it is that you can say go here by roles. So you can say that um, people who are wholesale customers are going to get a percentage discount of 50%, for example. So that will apply across your whole store, they get a 50% discount. Or you can say, and I don't really know why you'd want to do this, but they get a price discount of, say, $5 off everything. So if you've got a whole lot of products that are about the same price, then you might say, well, okay, standard $5 off everything is what the wholesale people are going to get. And of course, you can do the same thing if you want to um, have a sale on your website. You can say, that just activates it and inactivates it, by the way. So you can say for customers, we're going to have a 20% discount across the whole shop. Okay, so that immediately wipes 20% off everything, including your sale prices, by the way. So if you have something which has a regular price as well as a sale price, these discounts are going to apply to the sale price as, you know, as well. So you just need to be careful with that. If you don't want to give the discount on the sale price, you might need to turn the sale price off for a little while while you've got that going. Another way you can do it is by category. So you might have some products which are in groups called categories which you want to give a discount on and others that you don't want to give a discount on. So for example, if we wanted to give for books, we want to give a percent discount of 20% off all books. Okay, so this is a really good way of doing like a, a store-wide sale. And then there's advanced category pricing, which we can go to here. And we can go add category pricing. And we can say, well, it's based on the sum of the category or the cart line item quantity. Again, we can say which category we want to give it to. So here's our books. We want to apply it to specific roles. We want to apply it to wholesale people. We've got, and by the way, these little question marks, if you hover over them or click on them or something, usually you'll get a a bit of help. Let's see, is that going to do anything? Oh, there you go. It's not going to do anything. Usually it does. <laughs> there you go. So but, uh, the processing rule mode, sorry, rule processing mode can be either by bulk or by special offer. And again, we can say, well, what categories we're going to apply the adjustment to. We can do quantities, all this type of thing. So you can have a good play with all of this. If you want to know more about the advanced category pricing, let me know and I'll refer you to the original documentation um, and then you'll be able to read up about it. But I, I can't really think why anybody would be wanting to use this at the moment. Now the other way you can do special prices is at the actual product level. So let's go and have a look at the products. So instead of creating special pricing or wholesale prices or whatever for a whole group of products, you can actually create special pricing at the individual product level. So we just wait for this to load. Okay, and here we go. We've got these loaded now. So let's go into edit one of these products. And let's say we wanted to sell this one to the wholesale people at a special price. Just wait for it to load. And when it's loaded, you can go down here to dynamic pricing. And you'll see a button that says add pricing group. So here again, we're starting to be familiar with this. So we can say it applies to everyone or specific roles. Let's say it's only going to apply to wholesale. It'll be based on product quantity or it can be based on the variation quantity, cart line item quantity or quantity of category. So let's just leave it simple and say quantity for the product. Again, you've got this um, this bulk pro sorry, this rule processing mode thing again. Here we can say the quantity is um, from whatever to whatever and we can add more of them if we want to. So now one thing to remember here is that if you want the wholesale person to see the special price as soon as they go into that particular product. You need to put zero in here, not one, which was the logical thing to do, but you put zero in there um, and you can leave this one as blank or you can put an asterisk in it to say for, for all. And we're going to have a, a fixed price of um, $20 for this particular product, okay? Or we can say we will have a percentage discount of say 
or I mean don't put the percent sign in or the dollar sign in uh, or we can say we're going to give a price discount so we're going to give five dollars off whatever the price is the price discount is a, a good way if you are actually going to have this thing on sale occasionally um, so you can you know reduce the price for them by a certain amount each time so that's pretty much how you do it uh, you can so just recapping you can have discounts off the whole store for everybody off the whole store for certain people you can have it off certain categories you can have it off certain categories for certain people or you can go right down to the actual product level so when you've worked out exactly what it is you want to do if you're a little bit confused and you're not sure exactly what it is you want to set up probably the best thing to do would be to have a chat with me that's if you're one of my clients have a chat with me and say well this is how I want to do my um, my discounts and then I'll be able to let you know you know how we going to how, how that can be done okay thank you see ya